Hi guys. Um, so today, uh, there's not really anything you'd have to report on, which is good. Um, game uh, offense continues to swing to bat great. Um, I could name a bunch of people, but uh, we're really doing good offensively. And uh, any questions on things? Uh, Martin said he's working on some things, kind of his bullpen and stuff. You know, what do you see from him? Watching right now. Well, first inning, uh, obviously, you saw our guys came out really swinging about well. Um, got out of that with, with some nice change-ups to get out of the inning. Uh, and then the next four were better. Uh, they got his pitches in. Uh, like you said, if he's working on things, um, that is what we need to do, not just trying to get outs, but but how we're going to progress and, and make the pitches we need to when uh, when we start against the competition at the beginning of the season. So uh, so I think they need to continue to work. I know it's still competitive. They still want to get guys out. But um, but we were pleased he got all his pitches in and got his work in, and and um, and hopefully we continue to get better after that. Ron, you've had Peraza play a couple of different places defensively. Um, do you see him long-term as a – not long-term, but – more or less as a second baseman and offensively, is he giving you more than you thought you might get? Uh, yes, he is offensively. I really like what he's doing. His swing's been great. His batting practices are great. Um, his, his timing right now, um, he's really matched up well. And I know he talked about the higher leg kick and the, and the better load with his hands and, and he's doing all that stuff. And I, you know, right now we're, you know, mainly we're looking at second base, but we're also thinking if Bogey needs a day off, who's the guy that replaces him? If, uh, if Devers needs a day off, who's the guy that replaces him? Defensively, he is really good. Uh, he's calm. Uh, the game slows down for him. He's got really good hands, really good instincts. His, he throws the ball accurate. Uh, so he does all the things defensively uh, that I also like. I, I saw him way back in 15 for a couple months, uh, um, actually only for a month because he got hurt with the Dodgers that year. But uh, and I liked him, but I didn't realize he was good, this good defensively. So uh, we're pleased with everything he's doing. Ron, you, you said a few times um, about the hitters being advanced, whether it's being active during the lockdown or the warmer weather, whatever it is. Um, Martin said the same thing talking to us a while ago. How much more difficult does it make the job of evaluating pitchers when the hitters are far more locked in now than they might be in a typical spring training? Uh, yeah, no, no question. Uh, more difficult uh, for us to, to, you know, pick this, the squad that we're going to go with, whether, whether it's 15 pitchers and 15 regulars, however, we, however we split that up with a 30 man roster. Uh, but, um, but the offense is swinging so well that I keep asking, I said, is, is it just that our offense is so good or are we not pitching as well? And, uh, and it may be a combination of both, but, uh, but to have this many guys hot this early uh, surprises me because I kind of felt like we would slowly get into this in the last few games. I was hoping we'd swing well. So they, when they come out swinging like this this early, uh, now it's kind of like let's maintain what we're doing. And and you can go down the list. I mean, it's it's JD, it's Benny, it's Jackie, it's J, it's K, KP, it's Devers has his nice at bats and Peraza, and and it just keeps going. So we know we are going to have a good offense. We know we're deep offensively. Um, Vasquez is starting to swing better. So everybody's um, you know getting. Uh, getting to the point where uh, I think they're ready to start wanting to play games. It'll be great to have the competition with Toronto coming in on Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, I think everybody's looking forward to that. Ron, what have these games taught you or what are you learning day by day about your bullpen and where you might slot guys? Well, we still, uh, we still know that the length is the most important thing we do. So, uh, you know, I know, We've got Workman in, in, in that closer role. We're pretty comfortable with that. And, and I know he's, he's still working into his pitches and his command. Um, you know, we know Barnes, whether it's seventh, eighth inning, we feel, we feel good wherever that matchup is better for him. 
Uh, and then the other guys, you know, we're trying to figure out where, where they fit in, you know, where does, you know, Bryce is on a team, where does he fit in? Where does, you know, Brewer Brazier or Walden, does he, is he still doing what he did last year? So uh, I think they, they already have an idea of, of kind of what we're thinking uh, as we get to probably those exhibition games, uh, we will have a conversation with them and let them know, um, you know, exactly what, uh, what we've got in mind. And it won't be, you know, like Walden, you've got the sixth and Brazier, you got the seventh. It won't be like that. It'll be like whatever the matchups are, you know, say, say we're talking to Walden. It, it, it'll be, Hey, you know, most of the time, maybe one inning, but we'll need you for two innings at times and more to give them an idea of what they can expect as far as, you know, an area in the game and what their length is going to be. On the topic. Right. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to say, you, you sort of mentioned it a tad bit, but have you decided if, um, how the rosters do in a week, from, a week from tomorrow, how many pitchers, how many position players you'll have, or are you, is that still up in the air as well? Well, it, it's, I, I don't want to say it's up in the air. We kind of know what we want to do, but, but it's not locked in at that. So if, if we get to the last few days and we see that, that we think uh, maybe we, we need more than 15 pitchers and we have to go to 16 pitchers, then, then we'll do that. So um, I know what I want to do, um, and that's probably that 15 and 15, but, but I think when we get to these last few games, we'll have a better idea and and as you know, the, the starting pitching has a lot to do with that, um, whether we're going to go with openers, uh, how much length we're going to have, and are we carrying guys that are, you know, basically three, four inning guys, which can cover your, your innings. Um, and, and those conversations will go, and, and certainly when we get to Toronto uh, series there, we'll, we'll have a better idea with, uh, with how many we want to go with. Ron, with... Um... With your two best lefty high leverage options, obviously not going to be ready for the start of the year with Darwinson and Taylor out. But how does that change the makeup of the bullpen? And do you feel a need to, to replace those arms with lefties? Or how important is having that matchup ability? Uh, it's important, uh, no doubt. I think you know, you can match up certainly a lot better uh, with the 30 man roster. So that's going to help a lot. Once we get down to the 26, so after the month and we're down to 26, uh, hopefully by then Darwin's and JT will be back. Um, Eduardo should be back and hopefully lengthened out by that time. But you all, obviously at that time, you don't have um, quite the length. Uh, Darwinson could be stretched out some, JT probably an inning or two with JT. And right now, because of what we have and the three and four inning guys, and, and some of those guys are starters, probably could go five innings. So we're, we're comfortable with the length that we have as long as we have the roster where it's at right now. And then after that, when we start cutting down, you know, hopefully our starters will be uh, locked in, stretched out, and, uh, and we won't need that length quite as much. Ron, are you figuring on Weber pitching tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, and so he'll, he should uh, – I'm not sure if it's four or five, but uh, it's one or the other. And the uh, nice thing about these games is, as you see, we can roll them over when we want to and make sure that they get in the innings they need to get in. And what time are you going tomorrow? We're going at three tomorrow. And then what we have planned is Friday, uh, we'll try to go back to a seven o'clock game. And the weather could change that, but right now um, the weather is supposed to be a little bit earlier than that. And so hopefully we can do uh, night games from then on. And I also wanted to ask you, what, what do you think about the tent now next to the dugout? <laughs> yeah, so it was nice today to have some shade there, although the, it was a beautiful day. So the weather was, weather was nice. I could have used that a couple of days ago. Um, but I think, um, you know, I think we got at least got to see, um, you know, where we're going to sit in that, where the extra guys are going to be. I know uh, Carlos was in there figuring out where he's going to be to position the infielders. Uh, Ramon was in there also for the same reasons. And, and so, um, you know, there's a lot of room there. They've got uh, the seats taken out where you, where you can't get too close to each other. Um, so, 
it looked good. The only thing is if you're back a ways and on, on a pop fly, you kind of have to get forward and, and look underneath that to see, to see where that fly ball is going. Ron, how do you assess uh, Verdugo's comfort in right field? He made a nice catch out there today on, uh, on Ben Attendee. Yeah, he did. And he's good at all three spots in the outfield. He can play center if we need him. And uh, he's played left field also. So he's good defensively. He's still trying to get his timing at the plate. Um, but once once he gets that timing, uh, we're looking at a, a really good offense. Anybody else? Uh, one more for me, Ron. Uh, have you thought about the coaches that will be going down to McCoy Stadium to work with the taxi squad, or is that still to be determined? Uh, we know, no, we know who is going down. Uh, but again, we'll announce all that on on Friday, and the coaching staff and and the players that are going there. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks, thank you. All right. Bye.